We're about to pull into a smart center here and I'm gonna talk about one of the most sinister, devious agendas you've ever heard. And this is why I'll never wear Apple AirPods, any wearable technology. None of it will ever be worn on my body because it is part of a very strange agenda we're about to talk about here as we go to Walmart. You know what we're gonna do, get ready. <laughs> so the reason why I will never wear wireless earbuds is because unfortunately the two buds don't connect to your phone at the same time. The phone connects to one, one connects to the other with your brain in between it, and then it goes back to the phone in a, in a loop. So your brain is between two radiation emitting frequency devices. One of the reasons why I will not wear that is for that reason. Another one is because if you want to microchip the population, how do you do so? You have to condition them to first wear the technology. And then it's a lot more normal to think of, hmm, maybe just getting the technology put into me part of the transhuman agenda. They need people to want and get used to wearing the technology, which is the step before the, hey, let's make it even easier for you. Just get a chip, just literally microchip yourself, pay for it. People in Sweden, there's already office buildings of people who check in, who clock into their job with a microchip, grain and rice size microchip in their hand. China's doing stuff like that. This is the plan for the rest of the world. They want us all connected to artificial intelligence, a massive computer. You notice how many movies, you got iRobot, you got Terminator. How many movies are about artificial intelligence becoming too evil? too sinister, too controlling, and then it controls every aspect of your life. Wearable technology is part of the agenda, make no mistake, it's not for your convenience. It is not for your convenience, it's to normalize the connection with us to artificial intelligence. We have a smart Wi-Fi LED light bulb. You see my videos before, you know LED light bulbs are extremely harmful for your eyes. Then we got connected to Wi-Fi, and it's a smart home. So it's connected to your phone, Wi-Fi, LED. They want every single piece of technology in your home connected to Wi-Fi, connected to Bluetooth, connected to the internet of things. This is part of weaponizing the entire internet, everything connected to the same artificial intelligence internet source. And then you have a very dangerous situation, like an iRobot, which is a, mostly, most of these movies that are talking about AI are a warning by the director who sees the agenda. Here we have a Google Home. Hey, Google, ha <laughs> ha. Are you kidding me? I don't want to call out to technology. I don't want a little robot in my house. I'm not trying to normalize the connection of humans with artificial intelligence. Now this is perfect. Connected to your internet, like everything, because anything good must connect to the internet. And you scan your fingerprint on it. So your house is fingerprinted. Uh, everything's connected to the same internet. And uh, we become dependent on, on artificial intelligence so that if anything were to happen, it completely controls our life, which is the best thing you could possibly do is have this non-biological form control every single part of your life. What could be better? Bluetooth, wireless, 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 wires. This is why we don't like wires. Because wires get in the way. We like the frequencies surrounding us. We like to be completely surrounded by harmful electromagnetic fields at all times because wires, <laughs> they're a thing in the past. Good thing about wires is that they contain, instead of having a frequency going through the air, you just have a wire going on the ground. Boom, bang, bing. That doesn't emit too many frequencies compared to wireless. Wow, every single thing here is wireless. And I'm gonna tell you something. The reason everything is wireless is not because there's a demand for wireless. It's because it's part of the agenda. It is part of the agenda, having everything connected to the internet of things. Mark my words, mark my words. This is so smart. It's a smart Wi-Fi router. Holy f just when shit wasn't smart or wireless enough, we got a smart Wi-Fi router. Right. When you start to see that there's a plan to turn you into a bio robot, you start wondering, hmm, why are they spraying glyphosate in New Brunswick? Why are they spraying atrazine in California? Why are they releasing 750 million GMO mosquitoes in Florida? This is a war on the natural world. It's a war on the human biology. This is the importance of avoiding all their toxic chemicals and instead getting organic heirloom foods into your system. This is part of the reason why I take Chalk 7 Wonders with seven different medicinal mushroom extracts, rare mentioned throughout history, plant compounds in here that have been extracted from these medicinal mushrooms that have been mentioned all throughout the world. Some of the most powerful plant compounds you can find concentrated into a little capsule you take every single day and you get the benefits of these polysaccharides, these antioxidants, these powerful plant compounds. I take that in conjunction with chalk purified shilajit. There are eight different clinical studies on this substance here. It comes from the Himalayan mountains. The clinical studies on this show the benefits of the human brain, pro-cognitive effects, increase in memory, concentration, and focus. When you take these things together, the benefits are profound. This is why there's over 700 different third-party verified five-star reviews in the story highlights of Get Chalk. Now, this is the power of plant compounds and rare plant intelligence from around the world. Check the caption below for the latest details and latest chalk deal. They have an amazing deal going on right now for you to get a deep discount on some of the most powerful nutrient medicinal substances in the natural world. Much love, my friends. Wait till you see what we're exposing next.